Hi, it's Pookie again. Welcome back. I am today going to talk about something that I get asked about all the time, which is how should I start the conversation with someone if I'm worried about their mental health? So I'm going to do, I think, 10 tips, but we'll see how we go. So number one, be yourself. Um, so we get really scared about talking about mental health issues um, and it feels like a really big deal and we feel like we need to do some kind of, I don't know, major preparation or be majorly qualified to talk about it. We don't, we should just, you know, hopefully it becomes more and more of a part of normal conversation. So be yourself. If this is someone in your life that you care about, a friend, a loved one, someone that you work with, just talk to them like you normally would. Don't treat them like a weirdo or a strange person. Don't become a weirdo or a strange person yourself. Just be you. So that's number one. Uh, number two is it can help to do your research. So go and have a look online about what you think might be the issue. If you have a suspicion, for example, that your friend, family, loved one, whatever, might be suffering with depression, for example, then you might go and the signs and symptoms are and see whether that really echoes what you're seeing so that you can, you know, raise your concerns in a valid way. Um, and also so that you've got a bit of an idea about what you might suggest as next steps. So it's quite good to have a little bit of an action plan, um, although you might not get to that in the first kind of conversation. Uh, next one um, is that um, kind of doing an activity together can make it a little bit easier for the conversation to flow. So it can feel a bit awkward. So things like walking together or while you're on a drive or whilst you're doing a hobby that you enjoy together, um, that can be a great way to kind of great time rather to bring up these these issues because it can feel a little bit awkward if you just sort of sit down face to face in a kind of interview type situation over coffee and you're like so um yeah about your mental health yeah it can feel weird um on that though number four is um yeah it might feel awkward that's fine persevere um if you're talking about something that you haven't talked about before it's going to feel odd it might feel awkward might feel strange uh you might stumble through it but it's a really 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 get the idea very important conversation so even though it might feel awkward and strange persevere with it awkward and strange is fine not having the conversation not fine uh, number five you might get all sorts of different responses and there might be some big emotions in there so they might be angry they might be ashamed they might be upset and cry uh, they might completely kind of withdraw from you at first there's loads of different ways in which they respond and just be prepared for that huge gamut of emotions that you might come across this is likely to be a kind of conversation that's going to need to be had in stages over several kind of different time periods um, and you might not get um, an open warm and oh my goodness thank you for noticing response immediately you might um, but yeah you might evoke all sorts of different things the other thing is that your friend might have been kind of storing this up and not talking about it for a really really long time and they might not have the words to talk about it and they might be overwhelmed that you kind of noticed and brought it up so yeah be prepared for that make sure you have tissues on you is <laughs> top tip um, number six is not to make it about you so you you shouldn't be jumping in and comparing your friend's experience with your own. So if they start to open up with you and I don't know, maybe they've suffered a bereavement, this isn't the moment to go, I know how you feel because when my granddad died, I mean, you might think you know how you feel and your granddad might have died and that's all relevant. But right now we're talking about them, which takes us to number seven, which is let them tell their story. So you need to listen basically just listen, let them talk, give them prompts to enable the conversation to flow, but basically just listen. Just listen. I, I really always feel really self-conscious when I'm telling people to listen and it's me just talking to the camera, just talking and talking and talking and talking at you. And I'm saying, listen, but yeah, don't do what I do. Do, do, do the other thing and listen, just stop. And don't be scared of silence. Um, allow the silence to happen, embrace the silence. Usually you'll find that your friend will fill the silence before you do if you work hard not to, not to fill it. Um, number eight is to take it in, let it wash over you, let the story be their story try not to judge um yeah just do good listening and try not to change how you feel about your friend as a result of the conversation just allow what needs to come out to come out um number nine is to make sure that you have a little bit of a plan about what you're going to do next so it might be that you need to revisit the conversation it might be that together you decide oh we need to go and talk to someone else it might be that you book a gp appointment together it doesn't really matter but try and make sure there's a kind of practical outcome from the conversation so that your friend doesn't wonder what's going to happen next and um, they're not left wondering how you're feeling about them and stuff and that takes us to kind of number 10 which um oh gosh i'm showing you my horrible climbers calloused hands um number 10 uh which is to say 
say thank you and to just wrap up the conversation by acknowledging that it means a lot to you um, and also to take a little moment just to reassure them that the conversation that you've had um, doesn't affect at all how you feel about them so reassure them that you know there's no judgment here that you're there to support them um, and that whilst you might not know the answers that you're hoping to, to help them and that's why you started the conversation and that you'll find a way kind of forwards together um, I hope that helps. If you have other suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if I've said anything that you thought didn't really sound quite right, then again, constructive criticism, really, really welcomed. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you would take a moment to subscribe. Um, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up below. Um, if you have any ideas to share or video content you'd like to see in future, or you just want to say whatever, then leave a comment below. Um, I'm very new to the YouTube thing, so really, really keen for feedback, but also really keen to um, get my video surfacing and you liking commenting subscribing sharing watching uh, helps that to happen so yeah please subscribe and share and like and comment and stuff and i will see you again soon thank you